Cairngorm Mountains, a vast range plateau in the middle of Scotland. They conjure up images of heather, pine trees, rugged mountains, deep gorges. In this video, I'm going to be describing a mountain bike route that takes you deep into the highlands. On the way, we visit a couple of boffies. So if you're bikepacking inclined or frequent boffies for multi-day trips, this may be a route suitable for you. Easily stuff up. This is the 26 km route marked out on the 3D landscape. We start in the Linna D and we go round anti-clockwise up Glenlu to Derry Lodge. So there, the first boffy, Scott's boffy. From there we proceed on to Lou Bridge, which isn't there, up to the second boffy, which is Karoo boffy, underneath the imposing Devil's Point. And then we proceed south round to White Bridge, back round to Linna D. The yellow sections of the route mark double track, and they're pretty easy going. Green is single track and good fun and the red sections are hiker bike or boggy bits. Here we have the height profile of the route and while the route doesn't have much elevation it is pretty hard going in places. I would grade the route a black just for the sheer amount of time it might take. For us with filming it took us about six hours and I would say we had pretty good conditions. The start and finish of the route is in the National Trust car park marked on the route its OS coordinate. With the details out of the way, let's start the route. at Bob Scott's Boffy, a really neat little Boffy. I don't know if it's privately owned in that anybody can just use it. I've got a feeling it isn't. But anyway, there's a guy cutting wood enjoying his time there. And we move on quickly up the valley to the next Boffy. <laughs> beautiful section of the trail and we had the briefest of single tracks that looked very very promising only we found it led quickly to the river which we had to negotiate and cross shoes off that's what makes mountain biking in scotland great fun you don't know what to expect even a familiar trail in the Cairngorms can change year to year anyway we left that climbed out and came upon the next bit of single track which was absolutely sublime and carried on for a few miles after a good time on some absolutely fantastic single track we turned the corner north and entered the rubble section which was dramatically different from what was before this very small section of single track up to the boffy was a brief respite. Before crossing the river we turn south down to Whitebridge and this immediate section here is a little bit boggy. From Whitebridge it's double track all the way home with the wind behind you. It turned out to be a long day, a memorable day, and one we will always remember. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know down in the comments below. Do hit that thumbs up button, and if you want to be sure to see future videos in this series, do hit the subscription button to be sure to turn on notifications. Keep well, keep safe, and I'll catch up with you guys next time.